If I was a wrestler, I'd be like the bald bruiser. Maybe you should rename it to the bald loser. <laughs> Maybe I'd call myself like Big Hulk. Both of you guys' names are the most unintimidating wrestling names. And I've what ever. would your wrestling name be? El Guapo. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> That's not intimidating at all. That's not an intimidating name. Okay. What about Nacho Daddy? Really? And I'd have a bunch of kids chasing me out to the ring, and I'd just be like, I'm Nacho Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the Tanya Harding Wheaties box? I've been looking for that all day. Why would you have that in your office? It's kind of weird. When we were buying this, you said you didn't want anything to do with it. Now you love it? Oh, dude, I got all kinds of weird stuff in my office. It's Tanya Harding. And look, dude, it's a broken femur. Dude, he has a little crush on her. I have a crush on her. Check out that picture on his desk. This is a little crush. Add an empty frame, all right? Oh, my God. Sometimes at work, I need a little motivation. So I've got this human skull in Tanya Harding. A picture of your mother would have been fine. You might want to talk to a professional. It's really odd. What? Dude, he's got a point. I'm not going to take mental health advice from either of you. Talk to someone. I'll talk to you. Well, it's not working because you're collecting body parts. Chum, this is far. This better be worth it, man. Dude, it's a freaking jetpack. Are you serious? It's going to be a lake. It's a nice, hot day. Sun's out. We're going to get a little tan. Should have wore a tank top. Got a point. Chum talked me into coming out 60 miles from the Strip to buy a water jet pack. But hell, at least if I can get away from my dad for a couple hours, it'll be worth it. Go Big Hoss! There you go. Got it. Oh, oh. Good recovery. Oh. I thought you were looking good for a second, then you blew it. My stomach's very full of lake water. I really should have listened to him when he said, close your mouth. Nice, there you go. Show him some real power. Let's get him up to 30, 40 feet. There we go. Corey looks like the rocket man right now, just flying through the air like an eagle. Go, Big Hoss, you got it. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! You're starting to scare me, Big Hoss. You better come in. It was actually kind of easy to move around. I mean, the first seven or eight crashes were a little rough, but then I got it, I think. Hey, son, what's up? What's up? Oh, done. some guy just wanted $70,000 for the Bible on microfish. I could think of way better ways to spend 70 grand. What would you spend 70 grand on? I'd just throw a gnarly party. It's a good idea. Uh, just a party that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. $70,000 on a party? Yeah. So I'm assuming neither one of you have a retirement plan? <laughs>